G'day guys, thanks for stopping by to the Real Australian Dream Tour Diaries. Our names are Hayden and Amber, and we're on a mission to raise $50,000 for critically ill kids by playing music in caravan parks and campgrounds. We're going to be taking you behind the scenes of our lives on the road, as well as showing you around this amazing joint called Australia. Hope you enjoy this episode. Alright Dream Team, welcome back to another episode. Today's episode is a little bit different. So as you guys know, you've been following our journey. We've spent the last six, seven, eight months, however long it's been in uh, the beautiful west of Australia. Uh, and it has really been one of those big bucket list items for us since we started our journey. So today, I thought I'd recap our top five camps in WA to give you guys an understanding, a reference point to all of our favorite camps so you guys can get there, enjoy your own adventure and have an absolute ball in what is one of the most impressive states of this amazing country. So sit back, enjoy, don't forget to like, please subscribe to our channel, um, share it around, tag a friend, all that sort of stuff and of course follow our socials, The Real Australian Dream. All right, well let's get into it, number five. Say whichever gift you want. Starting off the list is Sandy Cape Recreational Park, a couple of hours north of Perth. It's the first thing, best dressed basis. Each site is 20 bucks per night, and this spot is an absolute gem. We uh, are only located a few, uh, probably 20 minutes from Durian Bay, which is a, a substantial uh, town in itself with all your necessities, groceries, all that sort of stuff, water, etc but one of the most amazing parts of, uh, of, uh, of, of Sandy Cape is we got to swim with sea lions on a sea lion tour, which was still one of our favorite, most favorite uh, experiences. We got to explore World War II bunkers, some epic four-wheel driving, some epic exploring, spear fishing around this point here as well. Incredible, you can hear the craze ticking as well. So uh, they do catch a fair few craze, but an absolute gem of a spot. So let's go have a look at it. Well, number four is an iconic spot that, to be honest, it was so hard not putting it further up the list, but there are just so many good spots. And this spot is called Betty's Beach, about 40 k's out of Albany, uh, down on the south coast of Western Australia. 
as you can see by the photos and what you're about to see, it is postcard worthy, an absolute gem of a spot. We went spearing and caught some epic spear, or epic fish I should say, uh, abalone as well off the rocks. Uh, swimming for those things was a real highlight and something I'd never done before. I got myself in a bit of a pickle on a four wheel drive track, but well worth it. Uh, and this spot is a free camp, believe it or not. I'll put the link to the full episode here so you can check out all the details, how to get to it, accessible for two wheel drive vehicles as well. But this place, it is very hard to get into. So uh, definitely uh, watch our full video to get an understanding of the lay of the land there. But Betty's Beach, what a spot. Have a look. Up on the Dampier Peninsula north of Broome in the Kimberleys is Bard Creek and this spot was our first taste, our first free camp in WA and to do uh, over four or five thousand k's down the west coast this place still made the list check look at that unbloody believable uh, some really good beach fishing if you've got a boat be prepared to clean up uh, because this spot is an absolute gem uh, and uh, not too far out of broom itself obviously when it comes to beach camping you run the risk of getting bogged so as long as you have that in mind definitely four-wheel drive only but the water was some of the most pristine uh, most beautiful water and it really set the tone for what WA uh, was going to produce for us over the next eight months. We love Bard Creek, we can't wait to get back there uh, and definitely recommend you guys putting this on your list. Again, a few tips and tricks to it, so we'll put our full video here. Bard Creek, an absolute beauty. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call? Something in the Now we're getting to the pointy end of things. Number two, 
Oh, this place brings back memories right from the start. A place called Windabandy Coast on the Ningaloo uh, Reef. Uh, closest town of prominence is probably a place called Exmouth. And gee whiz, mate, is this place not the definition of paradise on earth? We had an absolute crew with us, uh, an amazing group of people, as you can see in the caravans and the footage that you're about to watch. So uh, it looked quite compact, but that was all by choice. We absolutely loved our time there with some of the best people that we've ever met uh, we went snorkeling there is amazing you can just snorkel off the point at wind bandy uh, spear fishing again squidding fishing all that sort of stuff uh, or just the amazing water out front of camp is bloody epic to swim in Again, word of warning, four wheel drive only. Uh, definitely uh, somewhere that you're more likely to get bogged than probably anywhere else I've been. We got bogged a couple of times, but it's all part of the fun when it comes to beach camping. An absolute spot does book out in advance. Um, so you do have to plan this one a little bit in advance when you are on your WA travels. Again, I'll put our full episode here to give you guys the full rundown so you don't miss any of the tips and tricks about this spot. But Winter Bandy Point, I tell you, that's where we uh, celebrated our daughter's first birthday. So it'll forever hold a very special place uh, in our heart because uh, yeah, some of the best memories of over two years of traveling were made at this beautiful campground. All right guys, let's go check out. You're already on my mind when it gets late. I always realize that I need you. Are you thinking about me too tonight? It's no secret that I Like a drug, I am hooked on you Sweeter than summer wine Baby, just hold me tight Like a drug, I am hooked on you Well, number one, it was very close between Winder Bandy and this spot, but number one has to go to Warra Station. Sandy Point is the campground. And this place, I tell you what, it is absolutely phenomenal. It is the definition of what you'd expect WA to be. Maldives, eat your heart out, because this place is just like a look at the color of that water mate what you're about to see is what i believe to be the best camping spot in australia we nailed an absolute monster of a wahoo uh just off the coast uh, out of the sanctuary zone there uh phenomenal not far away from a camp that's very popular called 14 mile beach but sandy point gee whiz it takes uh it takes the cake there's a bit to know about this spot getting in getting in's hard a lot of people miss it because uh it is a quite a uh quite a tight track to get in but we've got a few secrets on how to make sure you can get in without damaging your car damaging your vehicle because mate this place is absolutely worth it hands down the best place in australia we got to spend it with some amazing people the bush bandits they had a boat but even without a boat this place is phenomenal and there's so much exploring to do so as always the full episodes here but number one sandy point What do I believe? What makes me feel it? 
Guys, that is our top five camps in Western Australia. Western Australia has certainly been an absolutely magic spot for us. We can't wait to get back. It was everything you'd imagine and more, but for now it's time to get on to South Australia. Our next adventure awaits, but I hope you guys have enjoyed the top three camps in WA video. If you have, please subscribe to our channel. It helps more than you guys know like and all that sort of stuff and of course head over to our socials the real australian dream send us a message let us know that you watched our uh, watched our video and hopefully you bloody enjoyed it my name is hayday take care guys safe travels and we'll see you next time